we're going to talk about the power of persuasion, the power of suggestion. Why you should not ask directly to a man or to anybody. This advices that I'm about to give you are gold and you can literally use them in business, in sales, and you know, whatever. If you are in sales, those are techniques that you must know, okay? People that are in sales, psychologists, they all know these basic principles that I'm about to show you and I'm about to tell you, okay? So make sure you stick around and watch until the end of the video because literally this is gonna be a good one. Don't forget to share, subscribe, like, um, make sure that you know you share the video because you never know that somebody needs this advice right now, all right? I'm going to share with you some of the most common psychological principle that rule our decision making and lead us to poor results, okay? So this is like life that I'm teaching you right now. <laughs> I actually was inspired by the book Influence the psychology of persuasion. I'm going to link it in the description box down below. Is in my Amazon store. Go buy it because that book is gold. I'm telling you that book is a must have. That's why it's a bestseller, okay? This book basically is going to address the basis of ma many of the mental models frequently used by people such as Charlie Munger, you know, psychologists and all. By the way, I'm looking down because I have a lot of notes. <laughs> this is like a large topic, so um, I need to, you know, have mental notes and I'm, I'm going to be checking. During the video, you'll see me looking down and checking, okay? So this book has six very important principles that are psychology, basically. Number one, reciprocity. Number two, commitment and consistency. Number three, social proof. Number four, authority. Number five, liking. And number six, scarcity, okay? When you want something from a man or from whomever, first of all, the first thing first, first step, is you have to figure out what it is that you want, right? So that's for sure, you have to have a plan. Um, and once you figure that out, then you can apply those, those techniques. You want a ring, okay, a jewelry, something. So what you do, first thing, you have to make sure you implant seeds in his brain. This is like very, very important, okay? Like you have to do it in an indirect way. Never ask directly about something because it's in our human nature to say no to somebody that is starting to impose things. So never impose yourself to someone or your ideas or I want it, you know, go get me that the ring, I want the ring, because that actually is going to do the opposite of what you really want, okay? So it's going to do the opposite work, meaning that he's going to build walls or whomever person is going to build some walls. He's going to go in the defensive mode. It's gonna be like, no, I don't want to. I mean, no, why, why is this person so aggressive? That's why you have to suggest. Use the power of suggestion, okay? What is the power of suggestion? What is the power of persuasion? First of all, you have to be very charming, okay? You have to know what you want and you have to already have a goal before you start all this. And this is not even manipulation. This is just being smart, okay? Like those techniques are not manipulation. This is psychology and this is being smart. Are used by salespeople every day, okay? So people that are in business, they're using this simple basic techniques, okay? So first thing first, you have to be charming. You have to be somehow someone that is you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you can't be late, like, you can't be like you're, you're sleeping, okay? You have to be awake. You have to be able to understand the other person. You have to be able to read the other person. And that, I cannot tell you how to do it. You have to learn it on your own, okay? That's what I always say, ladies. Study the individual. Not everyone is the same. I can teach you some techniques that are general, but ultimately, 
everyone is different okay so someone might have a fetish for certain things use it in your favor okay not everybody is going to like the feminine voice that is like eh, you know that's just for a masculine man that is maybe older some people like dominatrix okay so that's why when you first start uh, talking to them you need to kind of investigate what they like what they dislike that's what salespeople do okay so this is the first thing you gotta do you have to figure out the type of person you have in front of you all right okay <laughs> this is like <laughs> basic so basically what you have to do you have to make them agree to you without them knowing okay so you have to operate with their subconscious mind, not their conscious mind. So when you go too directly and too aggressive, they're going to put a wall because they, their conscious mind is in an alert, okay? But when you operate on an unconscious level, then that's when you win. So that you have to plant a seed. What you do? You plant little seeds, okay? Depending on how much the person like you or the type of relationship you have with the person, and I'm assuming, uh, you're going out with somebody they like you or somebody you know you are close to your boss whatever you can use it literally whenever you want you within any situation any scenario they work all the time those techniques that i'm about to give you <laughs> so for instance you have to start by planting seed and and you start with oh i see i saw that jewelry i really like you know don't you think that will look good on me and you let them say yes okay so they basically um between the line in their subconscious mind they're agreeing and yes i'm gonna buy it to you okay <laughs> that's basically what it is but that's not the end you're gonna keep planting seed in this person mind you're gonna wait you're not gonna let you're not gonna bombard this person you're gonna let some time pass and then you're gonna go again and say like, do you remember when I told you about the ring? You're not gonna tell them, go buy me the ring. You're gonna tell them, do you remember that time when when I told you about the ring? Let some time pass because otherwise it's going to understand that you're trying to get him to buy it. So it has to look like it comes from him. You have to plant seeds, okay? Also, you have to consider how much this person likes you and how much he's willing to do for you. So what you do is, you never ask directly, you know why? Because it's tacky. Asking for money, asking for um, things directly is tacky. Unless you look good and he likes you a lot, you don't do that okay it's it's very very tacky like i said before it's the opposite of classy so unless you have some sort of uh power on this person meaning he really really likes you he's desperate and he's desperate for you then you you don't directly ask for for money you don't directly ask for anything you plant seeds you play with the subconscious okay you become a master persuader <laughs> You let them think is their own idea. So what you do, you wait a little bit, and then later on, you go back and tell the person, hey, do you remember that time I told you uh, about that ring? And he's gonna say yes. And then what the subconscious mind is really agreeing to is buy the ring, <laughs> okay? the the subconscious mind is actually thinking about the ring by the ring by the ring i totally forget to mention that when you see that thing that you the very thing that you like you can just mention oh my god it's so beautiful you know it will look great on me you have to keep saying all of these things as if you were selling that object okay but not directly like you make it seem as if it was the best thing ever and also keep repeating doesn't it look good doesn't it look good on me what you think you know ask for the opinion so when you say when you say yes that's basically as if you know <laughs> he's sold he's gonna buy it eventually and then you say wouldn't be this an amazing gift <laughs> you know and then you put it as a joke things like that you have to be bubbly you have to be lighthearted, basically and then to make it so obvious, 
you what you do is if he asks you why you'll be like oh no i just wanted to know because and so and so you know prepare some excuse and just don't make it so obvious let it seem like it's something you genuinely wanted to know which day because that day you you know it was the day of your period and you wanted to figure it out i don't know and you wanted to remember or that day you uh it was the day that you had something going on i don't know just make some stuff up okay lady take advantage of the specific situation you have to be creative but you have to be charming you have to be convincing you have to have a certain level of influence okay on this person so this is basically just like hypnosis if you know what i mean like you know how in hypnosis you put somebody on trance you can use visual on people okay this is you have to be face to face you can do it on the phone and what you do you use visual and repetition meaning as in hypnosis you know the spiral and the thing ding, how do you even call that you basically use automatic stereotypes behavior so basically what you do is playing with the subconscious mind of of a person what you do is you use a voice tone that is calm and and is always steady or you know almost like and you and you basically have to also use a gesture that is repetition you either do this with your head or this with your hand you know when you say something and this person has to be emotionally uh, somehow involved okay and you you're telling them to do something and you do and you go like this okay it's almost like hypnotizing the person you use the repetition while you know you're speaking to them so that they they're more willing to do what you ask them to do okay so you use visual and repetition automatic stereotype behavior is prevalent in much of human action it is often efficient and other time necessary tell them what you want while they're doing something else for example watching tv you know while they're watching tv you go and ask them something you know how men never listen <laughs> and they're like usually they never listen and they go like this what, what you do you talk to them and and while they are doing something else because especially men they can't do two things at the same time like they're not like women not literally like we are multitasking women are multitasking by nature men are not they can only focus on one thing at a time because that's the way their brain uh and that's how they are okay that's their natural way of being so what you do is if they're doing something you you tell them what you want and they're gonna be like uh-huh uh-huh they're playing video game you know how they don't give they don't listen you tell them what you want and then you you basically talking to their subconscious mind they're not gonna consciously listening to you but their subconscious mind is going to agree to it okay so when you do that you're basically opening their subconscious mind up when you want to go on vacation or you want to go on a certain restaurant and he doesn't really want to what you do is babe we should go eat this isn't that okay we should go and you go like this with your head or baby actually i was thinking we should go to tulum for this summer and you go like this you know what i mean and you're basically doing this with your head he's going to agree to it he's going to want to agree to it because of the type of body language you are giving him okay you suggest him there indirectly with your head the answer basically by doing this you're suggesting him to say yes so if you want to go to this uh, expensive restaurant and not is not really in the mood you go like babe he's gonna why don't we go there it's gonna make me so happy you know la 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 that's it that's how you do it okay so when i say you you suggest and you don't ask directly english people do this all the time and because it sounds like less of a demand but more like a suggestion is less aggressive and also you know when you are like i said before when you are too aggressive people 
respond negatively and defensively to orders and um, demands, okay? When you impose yourself to somebody or something, to people, they tend to do the opposite, okay? So they want to free themselves. That's the same as you wanting to be in a relationship so much and you pushing the guy, you pushing the guy and you're going to basically achieve the opposite, okay? The opposite outcome. It is gonna want to free himself from you, okay? So what you do is you use, may I, may I suggest this, this and that? Even when you want to go to a restaurant that you really, really like, you want to go out, you, you, know, you want to go on vacation, you want that bag that is expensive, it's way out of the budget. What you do is, would it be nice to have that on my arm, going around the city or by the beach or this and that? You paint this picture in his mind. It's basically you planting seeds with the visual, okay? So that's another step that you gotta do. You plant seeds with the visual. Plant almost an imaginary scenario where only positive things are coming out of it, where you know you add some sexual stuff to it, you know, you want that's that that vacation, you're gonna be like, babe, can you paint us on the beach? You know, having making love. And I'm gonna be sexy, I'm gonna be naked, I'm gonna be this, I'm gonna be that. You're gonna be sexual, okay? Because men like them, although they respond to that a lot. So you do that. You plant a seed. And actually, there are so many ways you can do this. You gotta be more maybe creative and don't be direct. Use the smaller operators of probability, could, can, perhaps, let, may, would, okay? Would it be nice if, think about, you know, you're not direct, you are suggesting. Might I have, you know what I'm saying, maybe? There are also unspecified verbs that you can use that are, I was wondering if, or, oh, realizing, mm, or considering, or, Noticing is a nice way to subconsciously tell people what to do and let it see like it's their choice. All right, so these are very, very important um, weapons of influence. Those are called bridges and are used in a sentence to kind of justify the reasons of your suggestion or your request okay sometimes you are forced to say things more directly but what the study have, and psychology have, psychologists have realized is that people respond better to certain requests that are followed by because by an explanation okay for example you are in line at the post office and then there is this person that come rushing and is like, please, can I go first because I'm in a rush because I have my kid uh, waiting for school, blah, 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 you know, all these things. What happens is people are more likely to say yes. So when you, you use these three bridges, because and so, which means people, are more likely to do what you want them to do because the explanation make it easier to the listener to digest, okay? And adding the word because or and so, and which means is basically when asking for a favor vastly increases the compliance regardless if the reason is a good one or not, okay? So they did an experiment on this, so when this is very technical but um when you basically are justifying when you're giving an explanation people are more likely to say yes you're not gonna want someone 
that has no explanation that come to you at the post office and just want to cut the line you're not gonna want this person to cut the line and go before you after you have waited and waited you know what i mean so what happened this bridges because and so and which means they're going to really persuade the person and so talk about something else to distract from the subject and then quickly going back to the subject so basically what you do is you know well it would be so nice if we go to xx destination and you know and we can go and have fun we can we can drink margaritas it, it would be amazing then you drop the bomb that is we should go to the four season hotel and now, wow you look so handsome by the way well, you look so cute today you know did you do something to your skin your skin look amazing what did you do and then you switch back to the conversation you're like so i was saying you know so basically if we go to the this four season it would be amazing because we're gonna have this this is and that and you're gonna describe all of the advantages okay so which means that blah, blah 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 okay you almost have to brainwash the person basically you're gonna talk until they kind of tune out <laughs> i'm joking but you know what i mean like you have to talk and you have to basically present it as is the best thing on earth you got it's like you gotta sell it it's almost like you're selling that very thing you want okay so that's what you're gonna suggest but you're not gonna go and i want to go here i want to go there you know what i mean okay so there are some of you ladies that hint but that hint is not so obvious you know you have to be kind of like in the middle it doesn't have to be like you're pushing him but doesn't even have to be but it can't be so discreet and so between the lines okay because some ladies really they are afraid to ask and this is not like you know being afraid to ask for something is never good you have to kind of be in between not being so aggressive or ask you like i want money give me my money uh, this is just like you know that sounds like no like so basically what you do is basically as if you're selling something okay um you know that are the best sales people uh, can sell you even a pen when you don't need it that's the same exact thing okay so basically what you do is you you think about that specific thing you, that, that you want and without asking directly you make it seem like that's the best thing ever on hurt okay that's gonna make you so happy that oh my god you know if I get that couch oh my god the house will look brighter bullshit and you know they my mood is gonna be up and i'm gonna be happy every day after that i don't know after i get the couch i'm gonna be happy every day i'm gonna be more sexual i'm gonna be all oh, we can do on the couch every day you know make sure you do when it comes to a man sex is something that you know He's not always gonna say yes to so that's how you do it this is all subconscious these are techniques they're gonna just help you get what you want okay and then you get the couch and then it's like you have to make it look like that's the best thing ever without saying buy it to buy it another technique that you can use to persuade people is when the command you give a command okay and the command is different from the rest of the conversation okay perhaps this can be done by changing tempo changing uh, tone physiology or something okay for example i'm talking like this the re all the rest of my video thank you ladies for watching make sure you like and subscribe so what happened what i'm doing is basically letting that specific um phrase stand out from the rest okay so if you change your voice tone and that's going to make that specific sentence command stand out in your subconscious mind now there is a contrast principle that a lot of you ladies have to master okay the contrast principle is basically the same that the real estate agents are using to sell houses okay they show 
this is actually a good uh, sales strategy. What they do, they show a very bad location, a very bad um, house, and and then they go to the house that they want to, they really want to sell. So what happened? Study have shown that by comparison, even if the house wasn't so great, because they show that bad bad house before they're most likely to sell the second house even if the house wasn't outstanding it's the same thing in people like for example <clears throat> when somebody that is average looking is sitting next to someone who's ugly people they're gonna perceive that average looking person as beautiful or more or cuter than what she actually is but if um, an average person is sitting next to a very attractive individual people are going to perceive that average person as ugly okay so this is ca called the contrast principle by comparison and this is also used uh, to get what you want to go with the luxury go high in price go to you know to the highest that you that you think is acceptable okay for this individual like i said always study so you go high what happened is gonna negotiate with you but if you already start low what you get is just low is nothing okay if you start here what you get is is low you have to go high if you if you want to get at least something that you really want these are examples by the way is a reasonable ferrari you know it's like how about uh range rover okay so lady you have to set the bar high you have to make a proposition that is very high okay it's four to five times what you really 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 want okay <laughs> i'm using by the way this as an example okay just so you know so if you know that already that the person is gonna say no to the ferrari what you do is you ask for a ferrari and so you're gonna get something in the luxury department at least because you know he's gonna want to negotiate but in comparison to the Ferrari, because you have set the bar so high, it's not going to try to give you a Honda or a Kia or a Toyota. You know what I'm saying? It's going to go for, okay, maybe the Ferrari is too expensive, you know? Let's go with the Range Rover, which is still a luxury you know what I mean? You have used basically the, the, the principle of contrast because the Ferrari is expensive in comparison to the Range Rover. So when you ask for a Ferrari in the first place, uh, the Range Rover seem less expensive than what it actually is. But if you would have asked for a Toyota in the first place, then the Range Rover will look more expensive than what it actually is. So that's why you have to set your standards high and you have to set the bar high. So that's how you get things. You know what I'm saying? And if you want a Ferrari, you go with something even higher, you know? But you have to also be sure that the person can afford it. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, let's get back to the video. I hope it was clear. And by the way, I use this uh, as an example, you know, I use cars as an example because it's practical, it's easy. But you can literally use this technique in business and that's how you become a, a good business person, an entrepreneur. Like you have to make sure you know how to negotiate. You have to make sure you go high and then... <laughs> that that requires a certain amount of confidence and self worth. But you go high because if you go high, you have the chance to get everything that is in between from here down here. But if you go here, 
what you can get is below the ground okay so first of all it show how much self-worth you have if you think you can or not you know you have to have an abundant mindset <laughs> you have to be abundant okay so always shoot for the stars <laughs> that's what i like to say another thing that real estate people do is they pacing and leading what they do they have patience okay you have to plant seed sometimes you have to lead the person to whatever you want to get okay for example meeting them where they are at and taking them where you want to go example if you want a certain pair of shoes okay tell them to meet you at a certain restaurant and then after, that is next to that specific mall with those shoes that you want and then after you ate you finish eating you go to the mall and then you guide the <laughs> the person there okay and then what you do is like oh my god you know like the saleswoman is going to help you sell them pair of shoes so it's like oh, isn't she look beautiful with this pair of shoes you know things like that honestly listen you don't need to treat them like this nowadays it, i feel like if he likes you he can just like you can just like let's go to the mall i want to look beautiful for you yeah so this is how you basically kind of hypnotize people or that's how you that, that's how you persuade people and that's how you use the power of suggestion there is also the law of reciprocity that i haven't talked about that i'm going to talk about in my next video because otherwise it's going to be too long and i don't want that but we're going to talk about the law of reciprocity and how can you get whatever you want people to do whatever you want by using that uh, law okay now I'm going to say goodbye make sure you subscribe share like i said um go check my amazon store and don't forget to check sugardaddymeat.com and millionairematch.com you can use my affiliate links are in the description box down below actually millionaire match i have to make a review on that because they have updated their website and it's so much better there are so many much more people that are interesting that is so much cooler than other millionaire matchmaker apps honestly and i love it i love it go check it out i'm going to make a, an update video on millionaire match since you guys have requested it and i love you see you in my next video